Don't overlook these 10 areas inside WordPress 6.4 when you're working with designing a website with the 2024 theme. Like what you see here today? Like and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Number one, the command palette. The command palette is especially useful when you get lost in the new site editor. I've gotten more supportive for WordPress native website building experience lately, but there's still plenty of rough edges, especially when you're in the weeds of editing templates and trying to get back to other areas of the website quickly. That's where the command palette comes in. Simply hit command K, start typing a command and magically get teleported to that location. Number two, Groups and columns. I can't stress this enough. If you're trying to build out patterns and templates, always be grouping. Like I showed you in my in-depth video about 2024, the group block serves a critical role in designing your website. Need column or rows? Start with the group block. Put the column block inside and then start adding your content blocks like images, text, and buttons. Number three, templates. If you're not happy with what 2024 ships with for the homepage, create your own template or at least modify the default template. Templates can be loaded onto any page. You can go deep and design a custom template by mixing and matching patterns or take everything away like the header and the footer for those critical marketing or checkout pages. Get comfortable with templates because in the site editor because in the future they're going to get a lot more powerful. Number four, template parts. Yes, in a somewhat confusing naming convention and tucked away in the pattern section of all places, lives template parts. You're mostly focusing on the header and the footer template parts when it comes to 2024, at least in your initial setup. For example, your navigation lives inside the header template part, and that's where you want to go to customize the look and feel of that. Even with all of its rough edges, it's like using any other block editor screen, which does give you that flexibility of blocks. Want to build different headers and footers for different landing pages? Cozy up to template parts. Number five, the pattern library. 2024 ships with some really great patterns. Like everything else, you can modify these to your heart's content or simply plop them onto the pages you're building in your website. The pattern library is much easier to navigate now and will list the patterns you've made on your own. Creating your own reusable patterns to place across your site is where you really start to see the advantages of blocks and patterns and templates and the whole of where WordPress is headed. I know, I know, page builders have been doing this for a while, but this is really setting the foundation for WordPress to become an even better no-code builder right out of the box. Number six, the style book. When you're looking to make sweeping changes of colors, font types, and content layout, start inside the style book. You can make more dramatic changes to 2024 by clicking through the collection of ready-made styles right after you install it. Don't like a certain color? Change it. You're also setting the defaults for elements like links, headings, captions, and buttons. I suspect this is a location where many of us will live when we're getting into the nitty gritty of designing a custom 2024 theme. Number seven, the query loop block. Powerful, yes. Feature packed like what you'll find in Cadence, Generate Press, or Bloxy? No, not yet anyway. Get comfortable using the query loop block because it's pivotal when you're building out more dynamic websites. Use it to display your basic blog roll of posts, filter it down to certain categories to load on certain templates. You can even fine tune the results, which, which at one point in my career meant you had to know PHP, HTML, and CSS to pull certain data out of the database and then show it on the front end of your WordPress website. The query loop block will get even more powerful over time, so spend time with it now. Number eight, unlocking additional tools in the block bar, AKA, where are my fonts? If there's one nagging area of the block editor, it's that some key features seem to be all over the place or hidden in plain sight when it comes to additional tools you can unlock per block. For instance, if you want to change fonts when you're working with various headings or content blocks, they might not be visible until you make them appear by clicking on the three vertical dots, which grants you permission to expand the tools available. Ugh, I know, I don't love this either. When in doubt, if you're wondering where something is, check the tool settings. Number nine, editor preferences. You might consider this a playground of sorts, but there are a handful of cool features you might like inside the preferences pane. Features like a distraction-free mode or a spotlight mode that might make building your new 2024 site a little bit easier. I can see it being really useful if you have lots of blocks or patterns on a page, maybe less useful if you have a fairly straightforward site. 
I'd say check it out anyway. Number 10, the Gutenberg plugin. Wait a minute, aren't we already using Gutenberg? No. What was Gutenberg is now just the editor. Gutenberg is actually a standalone plugin that was the genesis of the core editing experience you're interacting with today. Typically what happens, like with WordPress 6.4, is that as Gutenberg, the plugin gets more features and updates, some of them make it into the core of WordPress. By running Gutenberg alongside your new 2024 website, you're getting access to features that might enhance your page building and editing experience. You can even go further and test out bleeding edge features of Gutenberg if you dare. I recommend you run that on a staging server first, of course. That's it for today's video. I hope you're enjoying 2024 and building out some great sites. I know things are taking a while for WordPress to catch up to the more feature-packed themes and plugins on the market, and that's okay. I think that 2024 is an important theme. The more folks that like it, use it, and are less discouraged when building their first WordPress website, the better it is for all of us. This means that other themes and plugins can get new users when they want something more powerful. It's a win-win for the market. It doesn't always have to be WordPress core versus third-party themes and plugins. If you like today's video, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter and podcast for busy WordPress professionals at the wpminute.com slash subscribe. It's your favorite five minutes of WordPress every week, the wpminute.com slash subscribe.